Loch Ness boatman Ronald Mackenzie has kept his eyes peeled for more than 30 years, and this may be the proof that's been sought for centuries, that Nessie is thriving. The image was captured by the latest sonar equipment. We turned out to the middle of the loch to head back to Fort Augustus, and as we crossed uh, the middle of the loch, we got a uh, big sonar contact about 170 metres down. The depth of the loch at that point was around 190 metres. Um, so we, the guide on board the boat at the time, told all the other passengers that were on board and took loads of pictures. Monster hunters have been astounded by the clarity of the image and the skipper is in no doubt. This equipment can't lie. Uh, it's 100% genuine. There's already a sonar expert had to look at the image and uh, verified it's 100% genuine. The area's tourist agency is thrilled that Nessie appears to have ended a period of lockdown. Nessie's really had quite a hard time with the pandemic. I think she enjoyed hiding like everybody else during the lockdown period. But now I think, you know, clearly she's, she's back out for sightings. And I think it's so important that people do once again ask that question. What is in Loch Ness and what could you see if you go down there? That question of wonder that nobody has the answer to. In the unlikely event there are any doubters, the latest images show there's certainly something down there. And the experts say the sonar evidence is compelling. It was no flash in the pan. 500 feet down, contact lasted 10 seconds as the boat passed overhead. Will it inspire more visitors to come? You bet. Ian Ramage, STV News.